bitch on me, son. She got like it on me, son. Push it on a pussy like a button. Grind more time, fake time, and bust it. Rising beautiful people, my name is Courtney J, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Friday! It is August 26, 11 23 in the a.m. I've been up for a little minute. I honestly don't even remember going to sleep, which is the funny thing. I pray that the air vent isn't overpowering either. I literally like to close my vent because I don't like air because i can get a stuffy nose from it so i decided to open the air vent to see if the noise will not be as loud so we're just gonna see how that works i woke up my lights were still on and i was just on top of my bed <laughs> literally so how my yesterday was i went to dance class i wasn't gonna go to dance class because i typically just go one day a week However, my intuition said, let's go to dance class. So I went to see another choreographer, Sexy Swag on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow her. I really, really love the studio that I dance at, Vixen Studios in Stone Mountain, because everybody's just so supportive. All of the choreographers take each other's classes, and I generally love that and I think the more that I keep going the more my confidence builds up and I can see that even when I reflect on my videos over dance I can see the progression like even when I got to class I caught up on the choreography quicker and I noticed that so I'm really proud of myself um with my progression with my dance journey for heels last monday was sneakers my first sneakers class i'm really happy that i got that experience as well so as far as my dance journey goes i am picking up on choreography more i can memorize a little bit more so now it's really just moving with intention which i learned from my dance choreographer in Charlotte her name is Courtney as well but now she's moving to Atlanta and when I was taking her classes I learned how to just move with intention and do the full movements not just half doing it and then what I learned from dancing in Queens classes on Mondays is balance what I get from sexy swags classes is energy slowing down doing all the full movements what i learned from courtney's classes was move with intention what i learned from ken mika's class was technique and the list just goes on from all my different experiences good ish and then cousin and i ended up going out last night for a little bit and I want to show you guys my pictures. I literally love my Polaroid. I manifested taking more pictures with my Polaroid. Like, I used to tell myself, I have to use my Polaroid. I have to use my Polaroid. And now that I just chose to use it, it's natural for me to use it now. I did two braids on my hair last night, giving very early 2000s. I don't know why I wanted to be like Buffy the Vampire Slayer last night with my outfit. It was because of the material. Literally so cute. A junk guy took our picture. <laughs> I asked him to take our pictures. And what I like to do, this is my photo album. Do I keep my boys? I'm literally continuing on the cycle that my mom had started. I have three to five baby books and my mom loves to capture memories and reminisce on good times. And that's something that I love that I took from my mom because I love taking pictures and I love creating memories as well. I like to write the date at the bottom. I'm excited to just see where I'll be at in life the next time I look back on these photos. 
and I'll say, oh my gosh, this was me at 21. <laughs> and I have a very interesting diary prompt for today. Ask yourself, what do you value in friendships? I sat with myself and I say that I know what I value within myself more than I did before as I'm continuing to learn more about what I value within myself. I now know what I desire in a partner. Well, not a partner, but my, my lover in a committed relationship. So now I ask myself, what do I value in my actual friendships? Because there are some girlfriends that have that girlfriend that they literally do every single thing with or they knew each other for the longest and still do everything together those type of friends or you have that girl group that knew each other for a long time etc cetera, etc cetera. and for me personally i don't have that experience i don't know if it's because i've always had to move around due to my mom being in the navy so we moved every three years so i didn't have that friend to just always do things with all the time because i always moved however anywhere that i moved i still have a friend that i'm still friends with to this day that i haven't seen in a very long time i have a friend from fifth grade that i am still very close to we don't talk all the time but the minute that we communicate with each other it's like we never stop talking and I have that same bond with somebody else that I was friends with in middle school she goes to school out here which I have to reach out to her and then my other friends that I have they're social media friends however I trust them with a lot of my personal information and they trust me and we just have that and then a lot of my other friends, my friends that I met through being a creative, we all just have our own lives going on. And then, of course, I do a lot of things with my cousin. And then a lot of other friends, girlfriends that I've had, they played a huge part in my life. Friends that I'm no longer friends with, they literally had a season in my life. And in that season, I learned what I was supposed to learn from them and it benefited me 100% to where I can appreciate every single friend, every single person that I'm no longer connected to because I took something from the connection that I was supposed to take on and it helped me to evolve. That's the perspective I choose to look at that from. But we're not friends anymore obviously because the season ended. So that's basically what I'm going to journal about, you know. And I figured that the only solution really is to continue to do what I'm doing, continue to go to my dance classes, continue to go to sets, continue to just go out more doing what I love. Because through that, I'll meet people that have same interests that I do. And genuine bonds can be established through that. So yeah, if that resonates with you and you want to, write about it in your own diary or journal do that comment below your thoughts are you in the same place that i'm in in regards to that um and if anything remember that you have to be able to love and support yourself before you can know how to love and support other people love and support your boyfriend or girlfriend it all starts from within at the end of the day tell me why i just realized that these were also pockets in the photo album like you see how you have one here and then one right here i've just been putting it right here i'm laughing so now i gotta rearrange my photo album <laughs> One thing I do wish this photo album did do though, I wish that they didn't have it set up to where you have to insert the pictures from the side. Because when I do that, you know, it's like trying to get it out, it's going to break. But it's because it's set up for different type of pictures, not Polaroids. But either way, it's going to have to work. <laughs>
Hey you guys, so it is literally 2.18. <laughs> I was up, right? Wow, it's only been three hours. I don't know why I think that it's been longer. I went back to sleep, basically. I was smudging and then I wrote in my diary and then I fell asleep after I finished writing in my diary. So I didn't write in my other journal because I was asleep and I had this dream and vision <laughs> and stuff and it's so interesting like do you guys experience the same thing so this is gonna be very I don't know the word for it but for the people that get it you get it so when I was younger, when I lived overseas, especially in Sicily, this is when I experienced visions heavy. I'm not tripping and I'm not crazy. I know what I experienced. I used to experience visions so vividly when I was younger. It was insane. I literally felt like I was in a whole nother dimension i could walk in it i could talk in it i could see other people in the dimension and they would have like different features with them they didn't look like the people off stranger things they just looked like different type of creatures but similar to a stranger things instead i didn't go into an alternate universe under the ground i don't know how i got to these places Actually, I think I just got to the places through my dreams. I don't know. But ever since I started smudging again, my visions have been happening more and more. Like, I be thinking my cousin did something. And she's like, no, I didn't do that. The whole time it happened in a whole different realm. <laughs> so that's just where I'm at. So I decided to open my window. Because, you know, you always want to open your window open your space after you let the sage settle into your space for like 15 minutes is what I like to do 15 minutes I let it settle in and then I let the air go out after or I just let the sage settle in while I journal and then after I journal let the energy out but I went to sleep instead and yeah her and I are on the same type of time we want to get food, but we don't want to get out of our beds. <laughs> like, I don't want to get out of my bed. And then earlier, I told myself, I was like, I desire to eat turkey bacon and eggs. However, I don't feel like cooking it. And this is why I'm manifesting for my husband and I to have our own personal chefs to cook for us and to bring us food so we don't have to cook. And so it is, and it is done. Thank you, Punch and Green. <laughs> Thank you, Punch and Green. Green Punch and Red for Root Chakra. Let me tell you guys, remember in the vlog that I posted yesterday, I literally just talked about this to you guys. I said that I have subconsciously been holding myself back, being afraid of elevation because of the lack of confidence with feeling like I'm able to pursue things. I'm aware of that, decided to detach from that perspective. And then the next thing was me being aware of the fact that I'm aware of the type of people that have access to my channel and access to my social media because everything is public. Anybody in the world has access to my stuff. Anyone. And I'm aware of that. However, I have to not allow that awareness to stop me from doing what I love. Why did somebody from, okay, someone that I met in Charlotte, and he's also on my Instagram, if he sees this, hey, he ended up coming to my club, he was the first guy I danced for Wednesday night, he ironically was at my club, like, yeah, I live in Atlanta now, and then this person on my Facebook, which... Me personally, I only have my Facebook for my family. So any friends that find me on Facebook or whatever, or they come across me like from like school, unless I'm like 
your friend. I'm not adding anybody back. So they just find me, which is fine. But this person, I don't even know who this person is. They were like, LOL, I can't even take this serious. I remember you in high school as the cute nerd. And I love that because I love that I am embracing what was always within me. That part of me never left. It just wasn't showcased when I was in high school. Love that what I was thinking about came into this reality. And now I get to choose how I want to feel about it, how I want to think about it. And I'm choosing to just be happy that I'm aware within myself to continue to be who I am. Although I'm aware that there's people out there that doesn't take me serious because of how they perceive me. And the only thing I'm choosing to care about is how I choose to perceive myself. And my reply to the person was, LMAO, enjoy the show. Because that's what I desire for everybody to do. Just enjoy my show. This is literally my world. And everybody's just living in it. We're all in our own worlds within a world of worlds. And so it is and it is done. <laughs> I love that this vlog is just full of me just being in the bed at different hours of the day. Guys, this is my first time on YouTube Live on my laptop. And literally, I love the setup. Why didn't anybody tell me this sooner? We have three people in here right now, but it's okay. Because I'm going to get back. Not get back. I'm already doing it. I'm already consistent with my lives again. I love this setup. It feels so homey. Okay, you guys, so, um, nice. gotta eat. <laughs> Literally. I just have a piece of rotisserie so chicken. Let's go to eat earlier. I'm about to eat at my club. This is what we got right now. <laughs> Buy food to not cook it or eat it. <laughs> I ate it the past two days with salad. Very weak. <laughs> no, I've been eating it with salad. You guys been yeah. asleep, though. Yeah. This doesn't look like any spinach has moved from the container. I've been eating the big one, not the small one. You be eating a lot of spinach. You eat a lot of spinach. I know. I like spinach. It's really good. I added twist to my hair. Well, braid. Side braids. It's my new thing now. <laughs> that was trying to manipulate me and gaslight me into thinking that I was overcharging him when I actually wasn't. Like, he was the type to count how many dances they were anyway. He was trying to make me think that we didn't do three songs. And I find it so interesting because at my other clubs, the dances are $45, 50, 55 bucks. Those men at those other clubs don't be complaining to pay that for one song. But down here, you have some of these guys that really want to go back and forth over a $10 dance. And I'm not the one to do it. So I told him, I was like, if you want to go talk to the DJ, you can. <laughs> like, I'm like, you can go ask the DJ how many songs he just played. And he's going to tell you the same thing. And he didn't want to do that. And so then he gave me, how much he owed me was like you're not gonna make any money this way and i just kept repeating the same thing if you want to talk to the dj you can and that's my new thing i'm not engaging with these customers that try to gaslight and manipulate because that doesn't work over here i am so sleepy it's almost 9 30 i'm not much going on so it is almost 1 a.m it's so unattractive trying to get mini bag money from these guys. It's like they'll owe 40 bucks and then shrug their shoulders. So I was just dancing for a section full of cute dogs. Cute dogs. And one of the guys I was dancing for, 
he added like he couldn't pay me forty dollars, so I asked his friends to help pay for what he owed me. Because it's like what we're not gonna do is that <laughs> over forty dollars. So if you don't want to pay it, I'm gonna tell your friends because somebody's gonna pay it out of this whole group. Somebody is gonna pay these quick forty bucks. So I'm about to change my outfit now to be on a new frequency. There's more people in here, so now I'm about to just. <laughs> and we're gonna see how the night goes now that there's more people here hey you guys so it is currently 4 42 in the a.m i've been home for a minute already and i just ate a quick snack my favorite snack is cheese and crackers <laughs> i've been like this my entire existence cheese has me in a chokehold why Whatever they put in it subconsciously has me addicted. And then remember my other snack, um, strawberries and peanut butter. That's also really good. I got Skylar to try it and she liked it. So that means y'all can't sleep on it. So tonight was very similar to last Friday. Just a bit more people in the building it was one of those nights where again it's like okay there's people here there's people spending and you literally just have to get in where you fit in i didn't feel like getting in where i fit in <laughs> i swear like it didn't pick up for me until like 11 something because when i got there it wasn't much going on but like I told you guys, I got like dance from two people and then I chilled for like an hour in the back, got back on the floor around like 10 something 11 and then the night just went on from there. So for the most part, the people that I did go up to for dances, they did say yes. I thought that the people that I danced for, I thought that I didn't get as much as I would have desired from just those people. So I wanted to attract more from other people, but the other people were already busy. There was customers that were already occupied, or there were customers that were in sections but weren't doing anything. Or there were people that already had girls they just wanted to dance with, or they just weren't doing anything at all. And I'm the type of person where I'm confident now to go with around the entire club and work the floor i'm comfortable and confident doing that now tonight was just do i have the energy to just get in where i fit and like do i have the energy to even try because <laughs> there is some points in the night where i just didn't care to even try i really really desired to leave early but i just stayed i've never like experienced these emotions before where i generally just didn't care to be there like, there was nothing wrong. I just didn't want to be there. So I had to motivate myself to stay. And that takes a lot. And I'm also proud of myself because that also means that I'm detaching more from the money aspect of being at a strip club. Because I'm aware that money is energy and it's always going to be there for me. So if I don't desire to go out and execute something, I don't feel no way about it. I don't desire to overwork myself, so I'm not going to. That's where I'm at in my stripper journey. I'm not about to overwork myself, and if I'm ready to go, I'm going to go. Or if I don't feel like doing something and I do want to sit on my butt for an hour, then I'm going to do that. And then when I get back on the floor, I really just have to just motivate myself. I either feel motivated or I don't. And I allow myself to be okay when I have those moments when I just don't feel as motivated. Because there's always going to be next time. As long as I have a safe environment to dance in, nobody messes with me, and I can get home safely. That's just my perspective on like slow nights or just nights where you just don't feel like 
the highlight of my night though just like last weekend or the other day <laughs> more so like the other day one of the artists from one of my dance videos on instagram noticed my dance video and he said that he would send me some more music so it'll be nice to dance to more of his songs whenever he sends it, if he remembers, whatever. So that was the highlight of my night, and I appreciate that so much. Even when I'm not having a busy night like I'm used to, I appreciate that my other desires are getting coverage. My other interests and my other desires, because I've been fulfilling them i'm attracting the right coverage and the right people to see that content so what's going to manifest is me being a part of their projects working with them connecting with them and networking with them it's just leading to so many abundant opportunities so I'm detached from my slow nights or my mini bag nights because I just know within myself <coughs> there's something else outside of the door. So as long as I just continue to do what I'm doing, those other opportunities are going to continue to flow into my life to where I won't even have to deal with mini bag nights at a strip club anymore. And then this is also teaching me discipline because no matter what in the industry that I'm in, even just being an entrepreneur, at the end of the day, this is teaching me how to be okay with not having so many cells. Business owners go through a period where they don't have as many cells, but they're still receiving cells. They're still receiving opportunities. Every business owner, every person that does some form of self-work or whatever has periods when we just don't feel as motivated and it's perfectly fine because it's not going to stop us from executing the next day or the next time so that's just where i'm at i'm just resting and just being and not overthinking or over stressing <laughs> and i'm appreciative that my art is being noticed by the people that matter consistently and it's only a matter in the illusion of time that the days of me being at the club will be replaced with me working on sets with people that I aspire to work with. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I like how a lot of girls experience the same type of night tonight. So we all were just like... Whenever it's a night like this, that just means that the next night will be even better. So I love the support that the girlies have at my club. <sighs> just gotta move on. So this is what we have in 20s. This is what we have in 1s, 5s, and 2 10s. So that's the end for this video. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for spending this Friday with me. I pray that you enjoyed it. And until next time, my lovelies, bye.